Good morning. Thank you for joining us from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. We're live in the Mission Control Center where the Orbit 2 team or second shift is on duty working with the crew in the second half of their day. The team here just returning. We've had a brief uh, LOS or loss of signal with the space station just as a result of the uh, satellite coverage, but the team here continuing to monitor systems and support the crew as needed as they're working through their day. All is going smoothly here in the control center as well as on orbit where the International Space Station is performing well, just crossing from orbital day to orbital night as it's making its way over Kazakhstan. The on-orbit crew is busy at work. It's the afternoon for their work day. For NASA astronauts Chris Cassidy and Karen Nyberg, European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano, and Russian cosmonauts Alexander Masurkin, Fyodor Yurchikin, and Commander Pavel Vinogradov. The crew is gearing up for tomorrow's spacewalk, which will be conducted by Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Masurkin, where they will install a panel of materials science experiments on the Poisk module and also configure cables for the future arrival of a Russian laboratory module. The spacewalk is scheduled to begin at 9.40 a.m. Central Time with the opening of the hatch to the pier's docking compartment. This will start the 172nd EVA, or spacewalk, in support of space station assembly and maintenance. It'll be the seventh for Fyodor or Chicken and the second for Alexander Masurkin. In preparation for that spacewalk, per the standard uh, procedures, hatches to the Albert Einstein Automated Transfer Vehicle, which is docked to the space station. That uh, module will be uh, depressurized and the hatch is closed. The space station progress cargo craft and the Zarya module are being closed through the end of tomorrow's spacewalk. NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy and Pavel Vinogradov will be isolated in the POIS module and their Soyuz uh, spacecraft during the spacewalk. Meanwhile, astronaut Karen Nyberg and Luca Parmitano will be free to move about the U.S. segment of the space station throughout the EVA. The morning began at the standard 1 a.m. Central Time with a daily planning conference. The commander working again on those configurations for the automated tr uh, transfer vehicle, conducting a depressurization and been working through the procedures with his ground control teams as they prepare for that hatch closure. The cosmonauts Alexander Masurkin and Fyodor Yurchikin, again continuing with these spacewalk preparations, specifically having time set up today to review the timeline. They have a few other tasks as well, including some Russian experiment work and private medical conferences. Chris Cassidy is working in the Japanese experiment module. He's being assisted by Karen Nyberg as they perform some valve measurements. Cassidy will also be performing a food questionnaire as part of an ongoing study and supporting the ATV uh, configuration activities. He also will be working with fellow astronaut, European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano, as they continue with the unloading of the cargo that was brought up in the HTV-4 spacecraft that had docked to the space station uh, just under a week ago, and they've been unloading the nearly four tons of cargo from that craft. They're now in the afternoon of their crew day, those ATV activities continuing. Cassidy will also be working on the Glacier Experiment Hardware. He'll be joined by Karen Nyberg for an education event later today with Riverside Preparatory High School in California. All of the crew members have exercise planned. They'll wrap up their day with a daily planning conference shortly after 2 p.m. Central Time. Then they'll have off-duty time where they'll have their evening meal and some personal time and a few end-of-day tasks and data collections. Crew sleep is scheduled for 4.30 p.m. Central Time.